Still, having yeah, four mana on turn two is uh, non-trivial. <laughs> I heard there's like a card that's banned everywhere, I think, except Vintage, which is Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we, ha we have modern legal cards that do basically the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people are uh, have been immediately really quick to speculate that one of these lands will eventually be banned. But we'll see. We'll see how the metagame shapes up and uh, where the deck falls. No, if oh. they if they ban anything, perhaps they'll ban. I don't think I don't think they'll ban anything. But if they ban something, they'll probably ban I, right? So they hit yeah. Tron too. Yeah. Man, Tron's been just getting so many good cards from uh, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. Nice gift to Tron players. Yeah. Basically, any expensive card that they print <laughs> and can go into Tron, right? So. Yeah. It took a while for uh, people to <laughs> recognize how good Ulamog is. That card is sick. I personally think that I personally think that the a lot of a lot of these cards that have been printed with on cast triggers are are like extremely powerful. Yeah, it's impossible to interact with it, with that trigger. And I opened up uh, uh, an, an Ulamog from from a draft and traded it traded it for some lands when it was fifteen bucks. Now I, now I regret it. It's like double the <laughs> price. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone's playing like two, three Ulamogs in their decks. Yep, it's a staple and standard. Uh, Tron and modern, and now these Black Eldrazi decks. All right, so we have. Oh, we're seeing some Delver. Yeah, action. blue red Delver. Turn one Delver with the foil bowl island. Okay, so we have a deck list. I'm not sure if it's this deck list, but let's, let's see. One one interesting card that I see is he's playing one copy of Deprive <laughs> in his main deck. Ah, uh, yeah. And two Blood Moons, so he's like a Blood Moon Delver deck. And Blood Moon happens to be... I'm not sure how good it is against Living End. I think if you catch them off guard, it's very good. Um, but I know that Living End plays Blood Moons of their own. So I think if they know that the, there's a Blood Moon coming, um, they can plan around that. Yeah, and their Living End is theoretically a turn 3 deck, and Blood Moon is also a turn 3, so... He can always... I think he can always respond to the Blood Moon unless the Delo player is on the play. Yep. There you see yes. off the top. Uh, I'm not sure what card that was. It might have been a remand. Yeah, I did not recognize recognize the art, but he got lucky. Delver flipped, and he's applying a lot of pressure. Living end player also. I think he cycled two straight race. Yep. Does a lot of damage to himself. Wow. An expedition steam vents. Hmm. Fancy, fancy. That's like one of the more expensive ones, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grim Grim Lock. Lock. Hmm. I think the fact that he did only leaves blue up might suggest that he has spell pierce in his hand. <clears throat> Perhaps. Uh, Just in case. The living in player oh. is missing land drops. Oh, and another yeah. expedition. Yes, yeah. even with all the cycling. Things. With all that cycling, still only on one land, and it is definitely looking grim. Come on, land. Grimmer than the Grim Lava Mancer. Haha. <laughs> Found it. Found it. <laughs> he needs like he needs to living living end next turn, or else he's dead. I think. Yep. To a lightning bolt. To. Attack and Grimmon Laramance activation into Lightning Bolt or even Electrolyze, he's dead. Yeah. Come in for opting, four. Ah, opting to attack. 
Yeah, there, there is a lightning there. bolt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think he opened those expeditions. So he must have bought them. Can can you can you <laughs> see yourself buying buying play sets of expedition lands? Uh I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh someone in chat says he started to foil out his twin deck. Uh I see. Uh, <laughs> poor man, <laughs> <laughs> or or not so poor. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, at least most of these cards. Look, it's evident that most of these cards did not go to waste. Yeah. That, that's such a first world problem. You start yep. foiling out your deck. And it gets banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess that's what like modern falls in this funny place where it's a, uh, you know, it's an eternal format, but it's also a pro tour format. So. Wizards of the Coast constantly tries to keep it fresh, so I can see how a lot of players are paranoid about committing too heavily on on their favorite deck. Oh. But uh, I think the only expedition, like the Horizon Canopy expedition, seems like a decent price. It's not that much more expensive than the non-foil uh, well. pack version. Uh, that just means that the regular version is also super expensive. Yeah. Not that the expedition is cheap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is no such thing as a cheap expedition. <laughs> yeah. Well, this game kind of was a non game, I guess, because the Living player got stuck on one lens and he cycled a lot, so he just got unlucky. And the Delver player, yeah. Delver player, like, flipped Delver, blind, blind flipped Delver, and Turn, turn the Delver sideways, basically. Yeah. Let's hope. Definitely. Because I do think, like, uh, no, actually, no, the, I guess the Delver matchup is not very good for living in, just because of all the counter magic they play. But living yeah. end, I think, is, is a lot better positioned in the metagame after this ban. I think, at least for now, there's a lot of... Uh, Aggressive decks like Zoo, Merlefolk, um, yeah, Infinity running around, and I think Living End matches up decently to all all of those decks. Living this particular end. matchup, as pointed out by uh, Nick Randolph in the chat, Remand definitely blows out Living End. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Remand, the counter spell. Personally. Yeah. Although. One thing that Living End is weak to is Graveyard Trade, and as we all know, Ultrazi decks are out there. Yeah, that's definitely true. Hunting. There's a lot of uh, rock, paper, scissors going on. <laughs> that's why I play Soul, Sisters, Soul Sisters, man. Only <laughs> the only the only bad matchup right now is like Infect. Oh, this, oh this, showing this us that, has, showing us that opening hand. Us, yeah. This guy has the decency. Wagon on the camera. Mm -hmm. He has lands and spells. Uh, I saw some cyclers, uh, one of the cascade spells, and some lands also. So both have decent hands, I think. Mm -hmm. Minus three Delver, I assume. No, minus one Delver. Wary of the Blood Moon possibility. Well, not exactly wary because <laughs> he's the one playing it. Right. So he's more like sinister, sinister planning. <laughs> Somehow Delver players get the Delver first turn every time. All the time. Uh... Sure, I can see how it seems that way, yeah. They always have some really powerful early play, whether it be like Pyromancer. Even like turn one Grim Lava Mancer is and, not bad. And the, and the blind flip on the Delver as well. There you go. Flip to Delver, turn two. Dude, this is why the matchup is so hard. He just 
Okay, so he, he opted to play the second Delver, but uh, otherwise he can just sit back on Remand and attack with Delver. Sit back on Remand yep. and attack with Delver. And there is nothing the living end player can do. Yeah. Uh, he's cycling a little bit more. Yeah. I guess both of the. Uh, keep on. Sorry. Okay, keep on. Oh, I was going to say on. that both the Delver deck and Living End deck have like wedges of the metagame that they're really good against. And this is just a particularly not so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, the, is, uh, this is actually. Uh, if he doesn't have a counter spell here, this is a really good Living End. Yep. Because uh, the Delver player decided to be greedy and uh, played out the second Delver. I think if right. he at least represented a Remand or something, the likelihood of the Living End player actually going for it. Yeah. Oh. Maybe here he does have a yeah, spell he, pierce. Yeah, he, he has a spell pierce probably. I just thought that this is resolving more already. Oh, he decided to lightning bolt his own Delver, so that... Oh, so it would come it back. comes back, yeah. Hmm, that's a cute play, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's a lot of cards spent getting I mean, the Delver back. The, bol the bolts... I don't know if the bolts are relevant. Right. He's getting. He's going to get beaten in, in, in the face for, for a lot this turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe he didn't have two mana counter magic in his hand, but you gotta at least represent it, I think. So, yeah. But then again, the living, living land player probably still still goes for it, because he's not yeah, gonna have... Yeah, he would still, still try. Yeah, so he's not gonna have a better chance anyway. Yeah. So here, it looks like the Delver player is ready to take a face load of damage. Yeah, he's taking... Uh, that's... Three, three, three. Yeah. So he's at five. I always forget these living end creatures' power and toughness and abilities. Because yeah, some of them do have abilities. There's a yeah, couple of them that have like um, into the battlefield triggers. Yeah. The the evoke ones, especially like this, like destroy artifacts are pretty cool. They're main right. deckable also. The, there's the one that uh, looks at the top three cards of any player's library. <laughs> Ar Architect of Will, I think it's, it's called. Yeah, yeah, right there. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the um, one he's looking. Yeah, I'm not sure about the Lightning Bolt play. I think that was kind of a little bit greedy, because he, he has the Pyromancer in his hand. Um, he could have killed one of the three creatures with the Lightning Bolts. Yeah, but then... uh, look, looking at the board right now, he... May be able to generate some chump blockers and at the same time beat face with the Delver. He got lucky and uh, blind flipped the Delver, Delver again. Yeah. So at least this way he has uh, an archway, no, a path to winning, as opposed to when he's ha when he has uh, Pyromancer, he's just committed to chump blocking every turn. I think, right, or close to every turn. Like right yeah. here, he, he has to chump block. Two creatures. Yeah, I think if he's, if he's able to chump block, I think with the flying Delver and uh, any combination of Bolt, Snap, Bolt, will probably be good enough to close out the game. Yeah, but uh, he's also stuck on Lance a little bit. He's only yeah. at two. Yeah. Hmm, we'll see. I think he's still very likely to lose. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. conceding right here. All right, so we do get to see a game three. Um, there's some comments being made in the Twitch chat, I think, make um, some very valid points, is that the Delver player has Spell Snare in his deck, but Spell Snare doesn't hit anything in the Living End deck this at is all. Game, this is game two, yeah, so he should have he should have sided them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a completely dead card. I guess other than flipping the Delver, but... Yeah. No. Uh, and his sideboard, he has, um, well, if assuming this is up to date, he has a spell skite, two dispels, two magma sprays, two smash to smithereens, two molten rains, a roast, mm -hmm. a vandal, two land of lasts, and one, two dragon's claws, and one threads of disloyalty, which 
I like that card. Yep. Threads of Threads disloyalty. Threads of disloyalty is a good card. Definitely good. It's, it's sweet tech. Yep. yep. Sort of like um, shackles, right? But yeah, yeah, but a little uh, restricted, but yeah. still steals steals Tarmogoyce, which is the big thing. Yeah, that's true. the players shuffling up yep and here we go and chat is saying that next game will be mono black and Eldrazi. yeah it's I gonna think be <laughs> sweet just like me there's a lot of players who are itching to see Eldrazi and how it performs and what it looks like I had actually one of my um, playtesting buddies had just put the deck together and was playing it this past weekend. It looked good. It looked very good. He went. We, he played at Friday Night Magic and did very well with it on his very first try. All right. So two players showing the camera their opening hands. Could this be yet a third consecutive? Yeah. Island Delaware play. Come on, sh show us the Delver man. <laughs> you see, ah, oh, no, it's Seer Visions. Uh, Seer Visions. Giving the Living End player a break. Yeah. Scrying both to the bottom because <laughs> didn't find the Delver, I guess. <laughs> I think his, his hand is pretty th threat light. He has a Grim Lava, Lava Mancer, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. But as long as the Delver player holds up um, the mana, uh, like counter spells. Yeah, I, I kind think of I, just... I saw a spell piece in his hand, which is yep. really good in this matchup. As well as a mana leak, I think. Mm -hmm. I guess he just. He he's fetching main phase, so I guess he has a turn two play. Maybe maybe a young pyromancer. Mm -hmm. Oh, the grim lava. Mm -hmm. It's just just a pyromancer. So end of turn cycle. Cycle. <laughs> This game is shaping to be a little slow. Yep. I see Spell Pierce, Snapcaster. Uh, yeah, that's all I see right now. Also, some main phase cycling. There's the Living Name player is stuck on land again. Mm. That, okay, now he, he's fine. not good news. It's fine, he has land. Okay, it feels so bad because uh, I think it's like perfectly acceptable to keep one landers in the living end deck. Yep. Oh, and it turns out he has an abundance of lands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see an architect the will, a violin outburst, some lands, and a living end in hand. Wow, the Twitch viewers are. Very attentive to detail. Quick to point out that the Delver player went past the normal steam vents to fetch out the expedition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> Can you blame him? Yeah. What a what a peasant! He's not playing a full playset. Expedition steam vents. <laughs> Gotta gotta get there one steam vent at a time. Hustling. <laughs> okay, so I 
living in. I wonder if he, if he could try to. Uh, what's he trying to do? He's evoking the Shriekma to oh, kill. Oh, it's Shriekma. The, I thought yeah. that was that was a. Uh, it looks like world. a promo. I've never seen that version before. That looks like a pretty sweet foil. <clears throat> yeah. So I assume it gets. Oh no, he is hiding to just activate in response. Perhaps mana leak. Vapor snake, his own. Oh, uh, vapor snake, his own. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, showing the camera that yeah. really cool looking foil printing. Oh, yeah. sweet. Man, these German players are are fancy as hell. <laughs> All the decks are pimped out. I'm sitting here with my <laughs> with my popper decks. Well, popper's a this is a great format. And inexpensive. <laughs> you know, there's Tron and Popper. Because yeah. Expedition, Expedition Map and Soul and Scrying are both like commons. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, you mean um, the Ancient Stirrings, right? Ancient Stirrings, yeah. Yeah. Soul and Scrying is uh, uncommon. Here replays the. the It's a second Grim Love Metzer. And again, Psycho. Uh, representing Counter Magic, so Living End player can't really go, go off this turn. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's also not under much pressure because the other player only has two activations, two Lava Monster activations in his graveyard. He only has like four cards. Is that a. I'm not sure what that is. It's a no. Fulminator Mage, I think. Mm, or it's the it's a Cascade spell. It's a Cascade spell that. Uh, oh no, is it a Fulminator Mage? I can't quite tell. I would guess that it's a Cascade spell. It's a Fulminator Mage. Oh, okay, Fulminator Mage. Mm -hmm. a foil one too. <laughs> and here, Mage gets mana leaked. I guess the, the plan is to get the six lands, play a cascade spell into Living End, and play around Mana League, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Don't see any other way. I, I do not believe Living End plays, well, has any way to play around Counter Magic. Nope. Although, uh, one of my friends actually played Living End, and he played. I'm gonna to try to find that card. It's like a red trap card from 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 Zendikar, oh. from original Zendikar, and I <laughs> think it, trap. it. Yeah, and it's it uh, it countered blue spells. I think. Huh. Let me check. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Twitch chat says it's called Ricochet Trap. Yeah, Ricochet Trap. Uh, it redirect, redirected spells, not not countered them. So. Mm -mm. You can uh, the way you do it is you uh, you cast a cascade cas uh, cascade spell cascade mm -hmm. triggers but the original spell is still on right, the stack. Yes. So when they go to tr to counter counter living and you ricochet trap it onto your original cascade spell which doesn't matter yep. anymore. Yep. So that that's a way to play around it. And here's the violent outburst cascading into living the end. living end. Let's see if. Delver player has any response? Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce. Mm -hmm. Pay two. He. Which he can, can pay definitely two. pay two. And followed by a mana leak. Oh no, a snapcaster <laughs> into Spell Pierce. Ah. Uh. That's a feel bad. At least, at least those cards are out of his hands. He only has one one card in hand right now. Yep. 
which uh, did you see what that card was? Uh, no, in the Delver's player's hand. Yeah, Delver's player's hand. No, no, I'm not quite sure. He's still at a comfortable amount of life. Oh, oh lightning, bolt. Uh, lightning bolt. Thank so. you. Oh. Oh, it's time. Hard casting features. <laughs> <laughs> which, is not, which is not the worst. Yeah, the not features the worst. are not small by any means. They're just, they're just expensive. <laughs> yeah. Although at this point, um, the Grim Lava Mancers and the Lightning Bolt in his hand are probably enough to finish the game. Yeah, I do believe he has. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six cards in the graveyard, so that's six damage. And he has enough attackers to push through with Lightning Bolt in hand, so technically he has lethal. Yep. Between his hand and the board. Still, maybe. Doesn't have any counter magic, though, so. Living End is still. Oh, so he concedes, yeah. It happened right. pretty fast, but I assume I, I assume they just he just burned them burnt him out. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Blue Red Delver wins against the Living End. Living End. Still, uh, that ricochet trap tech is pretty sweet if he has it in, in the sideboard. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably gonna jump off. It's getting all right then. Way. Yep. I guess. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, 